Mm. Oh, ma'am. The scallops have such a perfect bite. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate restraint, especially when you're competing. You may want to do a little more mm -hmm. than you need to. And I think Ross exercised such beautiful restraint for a very purposeful effect here to highlight the scallops. 100%. Ross has allowed us to extract every bit of flavor and pleasure and texture from this seafood possible. Without question, this is some of the best seafood I've ever had in my life. It would be weird to have like beautiful urchin and urchin birth. There's nothing wrong with that. Feeling really good having Jeremy here helping me with this final menu. I'm trying to convey what Newfoundland is to me through food. And you know, he kind of taught me a lot of those techniques. I got some beautiful fresh cod, okay. whole cod. He brought me the bounty of Newfoundland and himself. I'm ecstatic. You got four hours, right? So, yeah. So uh, it's not, it's a, lot not a lot of time. <laughs> it's the finale. Holy cow. Let's do this. I got four hours. I have this beautiful idea for a tasting menu. And Jeremy Charles here with me. I'm so excited. Good luck, man. Good luck, man. <laughs> I got the bones in. Granita's in the freezer, cooking the rice. I'm about to present a meal that you can only get if you come to Newfoundland with ingredients that are hunted, fished, foraged, picked. We eat it all. We eat it all, <laughs> Newfoundland. Starting off with what I like to call snacks, a whelk skewer, which is a type of sea snail, the moose heart tartare, and fried cod chitlins for the appetizer course. Fresh scallops out of the water yesterday. My first entree is beautiful hand-lined cod. The second entree, a little more richer plate of food, some rabbit, some partridge. And then finished with a cold dessert of parsnips with Newfoundland tasting menu, these ingredients. I'm gonna win Top Chef Canada. My menu is, you know, it's an ode to Newfoundland. It's homecoming for me from being away for so long. So I brought Newfoundland to your table tonight. So right here you have a moose heart tartare. In the middle is a whelk skewer. And then on the end is a cod chitlin with capelin gold leaf. Enjoy. For scallop. Okay. For the appetizer course, it's a very simple, clean dish of raw diver scallop, sea urchin, and a dashi made of smoked scallop roe and the skirts. It's actually the scallop eyes. Atlantic Ocean in a bowl. <laughs> What I'm trying to get across is that you don't need all this flair all the time with food. If you have good products, your dish, it'll shine. Beautiful. So this is taste of Atlantic Ocean, uh, the freshest that I could get here. So, you know, out of the water a, a day ago. Some sea urchins, some torn diver scallops, a dashi made of the scallop skirts and smoked roe, and dried seaweed. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. Oh, ma'am. The scallops have such a perfect bite. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. I really appreciate restraint, especially when you're competing. You may want to do a little more mm -hmm. than you need to. And I think Ross exercised such beautiful restraint for a very purposeful effect here to highlight the scallops. 100%. Ross has allowed us to extract every bit of flavor and pleasure and texture from this seafood possible. Without question, this is some of the best seafood I've ever had in my life. Oh my goodness. So right now it's uh, Newfoundland codfish, skin on, pan roasted, onion soubies, charred onions, leek, and a sea urchin beurre blanc with onion oil. Thanks guys. Thanks, Thanks for us. The smell coming off this dish is exquisite. Look at the cook on the fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. The flavors are just so beautiful. The confit of onion, the leek, the sea urchin roast sauce. Amazing. That sauce is unbelievable. You Amazing. get the creamy, beautiful, briny flavor and texture of yeah. urchin, but also the butteriness that you get from a proper bird blanc. Yes, and then again, he is that chef that goes with three ingredients, and then he really makes sure that each ingredient sings on the plate. So much flavor in that. It was beautiful. I'm gonna win Top Chef Canada because now I can show the food that I do, my heritage. The second entree of rabbit and partridge is just another plate of Newfoundland, a plate of me. Just like back home, right? This partridge breast has to be done medium rare. The rabbit has to be done medium rare. The bad side of wild game is, is cooking it too much. I got mushrooms, I got beets, I got partridge berries. Stoked. Thank you. Hi, guys. Ooh. Oh, wow. my goodness. Wow. I want to take pictures of this so bad. Oh, my God. That is <laughs> 
so precious. Oh, that is a pitcher plant. That is the provincial flower of Newfoundland. Oh, oh my, my word. That is so cute. I know. So what you have is uh, Newfoundland wild hare, Newfoundland partridge. There's a skewer of the partridge heart on alder. Jerusalem artichoke puree, partridge berries, and winter chanterelles with a glazed beet. It's too so beautiful cool. to eat. <laughs> Please eat it. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. you. Thank you. Oh, this, this food is next level. Wild oh. hair often has a bit of a skunky flavor. You need to handle it well to get the flavor right, and I think it's been treated Perfectly. I've never been transported so powerfully to another place in the world. This is spectacular. Too precious to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's vegetables. <laughs> That's weird to say. It's dessert. Here's a vegetable. Years ago, every family would have a cellar in their backyard, and they would have, you know, parsnips, potatoes. It was how you sustained your family through the winter. I got roasted parsnip cream, some apples, and then covering it with a parsnip chip. Nice. I think it is a bit of a risk, but to put a ton of care into this parsnip dessert, and I hope I did it OK. OK, so dessert round. Dessert. You have roasted parsnip cream, a uh, parsnip chip, there's some compressed apples in Canadian maple whiskey, and there's creeping snowberries from Newfoundland. Creeping snowberry is what we call it, but when you eat it, you think a mint candy. Oh my God, it is. Thank you, Ross. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Dessert made with vegetables is such a risk. This, to me, does everything a great dessert should do. The parsnip, to me, is like a beautiful piece of pastry with a little bit of root vegetable underneath. I love the texture. I love the butteriness of it. I'm a huge fan of a dessert that's not overly sweet. You know, I usually can't finish a dessert, and I just clean my plate. This would have to be on a tasting menu, because you'd never order the description of a parsnip puree in a dessert. Based on description, this would be your worst seller, but your best experience. I am loving this dish. Ross, you took us on a tour of Newfoundland today. It showed who you are as a chef, and it showed the dexterity of your skill set. Very nice work. Thank you, chef. Choosing a winner is probably the toughest decision we've ever been faced with. Ross? You are Canada's top chef. <laughs> Congrats, dude. <laughs> Congratulations, Ross. Uh, give me a minute. <laughs>